Jesus was talking to his disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane. They had just finished celebrating Passover together, or as we know it, the Last Supper. They came across some grapevines and Jesus said to them, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So what was this? A final gardening lesson before Jesus went to the cross? What did he mean when he was saying that he was the vine and we are the branches? Jesus loved to use everyday situations and surroundings to explain what he meant about the kingdom of heaven. He would often talk in parables and I'm sure you can think of a few parables that he told. In this situation, he was using a grapevine which would have been very common in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he was using it to explain something about what it means to be close to, to him, to stay close to Jesus. He was saying that he was the vine and that we are like the branches that come off the vine. And as long as the branch remains in the vine, it will produce fruit. But if the branch doesn't remain on the vine, then it won't be able to produce any fruit. So how can we remain in Jesus? It means spending time with him. It means literally being attached to him. So if we are spending time with him in prayer and spending time in his word, the Bible, that is one way that we are remaining in him. And the fruit that we bear from doing that, they're not grapes, but the fruits of the spirit. For example, joy is something that we're looking at over these next few weeks. I'm sure you can think of more fruits of the Spirit. So how can you stay close to Jesus this week? While you have a think about that, and while I'm here, I guess I better make myself useful.